It is now 7.36 p.m. and I have yet to put out vlog number 18. Is it number 18? Uh, yep, vlog number 18. 18 days in a row that I've done a daily vlog. And this one is a challenging one to put out because we have another event that got added tomorrow that we had to organize today. It's not really an event. I mean, we we just made it a little more special. Yeah. So, if you did not know, we have a running club that meets every Friday night at 7.30 here in our local community. And it's just an easy three miles, uh, either a run or walk. And it's a way for people to kind of de-stress from the week. A nice, healthy mental health escape. Yes. And uh, so if you have not heard the news or if maybe you're not in America or you don't watch the news, there is a, a runner who has been uh, that got killed recently, a female. And so I wanted to get my wife's perspective on this. Um, her name was Eliza Fletcher. She went out for her morning jog one day. She lives in like Kentucky or something or East Coast? Uh, I believe Memphis. Memphis. She, yeah, she went out for her normal 4 a.m. Uh, jog on Friday, September 2nd and she was abducted about halfway into her run. I believe she was doing about 10 miles. Um, this person followed her in his SUV and when she went past it, he got out and charged at her, grabbed her, put her into the SUV and drove off. Her body was found three days later in uh, outside a vacant house um, not far from where she was taken, so still in her area. And he's been uh, arrested and is awaiting trial for her murder. Yeah, what sucks about this is was he's already done prior time for kidnapping, and he currently has other charges that he's going that he's going through. So he's just been a lifelong, can I say scumbag? <laughs> not, not a good person. No, and so I guess what happened was he, he lives with some people, lives with family, and he was like scrubbing out his, his truck the day of it happened and cleaning his clothes in the, in, the, in, the, in the sink and just having very strange behavior. So when they found, when they arrested him, it wasn't a shock to them because he was acting very odd. And uh, it just, I wanted to get your perspective on this because I, normally she's out with uh, my furry homeboy, Karma. And he's a big 75 pound German Shepherd. And so I'm not, I'm not worried about anything happened to her when she's with him, but there are times when she has to go a distance where she can't take him. Either she's doing a, a really fast run or she's doing a mileage is too high and she just can't take him that day. But I think about, you know, the chances of her or any woman getting taken on the run is I'm sure pretty common or it's, it can happen to anybody. And she was a young girl. I think she was only, what, 23, 24 years old? She was 34. 34? Was oh, that's 34. right, 34. Yeah. She has uh, two children and a husband. Mm -hmm. And just trying to go out and do her thing, enjoy her life, and stay fit. Yeah, so for for that, that's a pretty big thing in the, in the community right now. Not only just the running community, but in the community in general. And so in honor of her, we are gonna, uh, honoring her at our meetup tomorrow night. So she went out and bought some pink shirts. We put it out on Facebook and Instagram. And you know, it, just, it took a few hours to, to organize that. And we're hoping some folks come and hang out and a great way to honor this, uh, this lady who just went out for a jog and never went home because of some- Terrible person. Yeah, the thought he can just do what he wants to do to someone. Uh, so but in this video, I just want to talk to Janice, like what is your, when you go out for a run, does that ever, how often does that enter your mind that something might happen to you? All the time. It's a entire run situation. I'm constantly aware of my surroundings, um, aware of what cars are, you know, coming towards me or going away or have I seen that car um, a couple times in 
in the short amount of time that I've been running. Mm. Um, I very much look at everybody, every driver's face that I can see. And, you know, I may look a little silly from time to time, but I'm, you know, turning my head and seeing what's going on behind me because I, I like my music loud. And I know it's probably not a good thing, but I, I because you, you can't hear everything that's going on, but that's what helps me through my runs and kind of helps me clear my head. So um, I have it loud and I need to be extra cautious of everything else around me, in front of me, to the sides, and especially behind me. Yeah, that is wild because I, as a, a male runner, a uh, male Caucasian, I never even think about it. I never, I mean, I, I, the only thing I think about is it maybe a dog chasing me. Or, you know, it flashes in my head, oh, okay, well, maybe somebody might, I might run across somebody that has some mental health issues, but nothing like what you just spoke of. I mean, I never look at anybody's face. I never look at cars. I never, so that means I'm very, I've, I'm, I'm too comfortable. And so not only you being a woman, but you're a woman of color. That's another issue. Uh, like you, we were just in uh, another state here visiting some friends recently, and you had to be concerned about the color of your skin. Mm -hmm. That was really, that was different. I've never experienced that before, um, but I, I, that's just it. I was concerned that my skin was too dark for where we were at. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I, it was hot. I could only cover up so much and again, just hyper aware of my surroundings and, you know, you don't know what people are thinking and what they could do so you just have to be on guard all the time it's sad it is it really is um so let's talk maybe give some tips to maybe some runners or females that that are struggling with this or maybe you're afraid to go out so what tips would you give since you seem very um, aware of your surroundings what tips can you give to somebody like pepper spray is that an option Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I have um, pepper spray. I have it came with um, elastic on it, so it holds on to your hand. It's easy to grip. It has a little toggle switch, so you can flick it on, point it at whoever. Um, a few years ago, my son accidentally sprayed it <laughs> in my car when we were getting out to go for a run. That stuff is potent, mm -hmm. it is strong, so I know it works. Um, and yeah, it's really keeping your eye out on who's around you. you Maybe getting a dog, a big dog. I mean, dog. if you can, not everybody can. No. So, right, we just happen to be lucky enough to be able to have him. But yeah, that's it, that. Taking him out with me definitely alleviates some of the stress mm -hmm. uh, of of watching out because. He looks very scary coming out, being out, you know, at in the early mornings when it's dark. Um, he's a big dog, and people see that they definitely people will cross the street if they're on the same side as me. Um, when it's sunny out, or you know, at least the sun's out, um, his eyes aren't really dilated, so his pupils are small, mm. so he looks even more scary than. Than that, so yeah. But he's not that scary in real life. Well, he's scary to people who are <laughs> not us. Yes. Because he protects us. Uh huh. Yeah. So, uh, so with that said, uh, so if you don't know, she normally goes out on a 10-mile run, right? That's what she normally did, and uh -huh. she only got out a few. So there's a thing going around now. It's called hashtag uh, Finish Eliza's Run. Finish Eliza's Run. And I think it was like 8.3 miles or something like that, or but most people are doing. They're they're asked the it's a free um, run. You can sign up online, and it's just to show you know our solidarity for a fellow runner. Um, you can do whatever mileage works for you. They're saying you can walk it, you can jog it, you can roller skate it. It's just putting in that mileage and wearing a pink top, whether it's a mm. pink sports bra, pink shirt. Um, you can wear, uh, she was wearing purple uh, Lululemon shorts, mm. and but you can wear blue. Um, but 
ultimately it's just wearing the pink top and getting that mileage in to finish out the run for her. So that starts Friday morning at 4.20 and they're gonna end it Sunday evening. But we're going to incorporate that into our club run tomorrow evening. It's terrible, terrible, terrible. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you never were like, hey, I'll just go off my morning run. Just to kind of start the day off on a positive note and that's what happens. Terrible. Um, thank you for watching, hope this helped, and please uh, head to the link and look, see all the info in the description. See you tomorrow.